guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so today i wanted to get a couple things all finished um mainly moving the stairs from over here to over there because that's probably going to be needed for um our journey on to flooding this part and i needed to get uh this wall set up so we can mine this all the clay out as we progress but the bridges are finally done so we'll be able to um not worry about that part at least they they're still building the uh stairs though by looks of it so take them a little bit of time to do uh but uh, we can go ahead and delete that we're going to need to move some of this over so i'm going to tell them to put stairs here and I'm not going to have um, a wall on that side just because there's not a whole lot of room there. And then I need to go ahead and demolish these parts. Hoping that this won't cause any structural issues. So we'll go ahead and set that up. And we're going to need a beam here as well. Perfect. So that should look good for when we actually set it up. It's very similar to the other side here. And they still have that to actually work on too. Which is going to be a little interesting because we don't have um, a way to get over there if they start building all this up. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I also noticed that a lot of the trees are starting to grow in between the village, which is really good. I tried my best to get that to happen, just because it looks a lot better and stuff. But the dead trees don't give that creative effect around, so I try to chop them down when I see them. And same with the dead bushes and stuff like that. But Oh, and I should have the second skep... Um, set up so we'll set this up for forever so that got us through the winter actually so i'll just get them to work on that we'll eventually move that somewhere else i think maybe i don't know still trying to figure out where everything needs to go but for the time being that's perfect location for it and how are we doing on our resources Could use a little bit more sticks. Uh, limestone are okay.
great so progress update we got pretty much this wall built now so we have like a little retaining wall well minus one block right there we'll definitely be able to I'll definitely be able to get the um, things flooded uh, probably between this episode and next episode I might wait until the weekend that way if anything messes up I'll be able to um, try to figure it out before the next recording which will be really important I was going to hold off until like the end of the until next season like next time that we play it but I kind of want to try to aim for getting it all set up before then and we have a few more episodes left so hopefully that will be a nice thing to end on um, at the moment I'm just telling to mine out this clay I'm not sure how far down it goes looks like that's clay as well so we might have some extra digging as well that we need to do um, I'm not sure how we're going to support that bridge, but um, we'll need to figure that out. But they have stairs there to get up and down. We'll probably have a few different supports in so we can basically keep it supported while we're mining and stuff like that. But um, the important thing is to get as much clay as possible out of it. And that will have um, enough clay storage. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough clay storage there. Uh, we may end up... Oh, and I went hunting for some wolves as well because we're running a little bit low on wolf pelt. Um, there is a few more wolves l out here. Um, I'll have to try to find them. Um, and we could use some more foxes as well. There's a fox sleeping over there, but... Um, at the moment, North is harvesting resources, so I'm assuming that uh, the farm should be ready for harvesting, which is good. So uh, I'll take them a little bit of time and to harvest that up, but it shouldn't take too, too long, I don't think. And then we can hopefully send North out again tonight to hunt those remaining fox or wolves. And if we have time, maybe foxes. Um, Whereabouts are all the foxes? There's one over here. I know that for sure. And there's a wolf over there now. And there's a wolf over here. And a wolf there. So three wolves. Uh, four wolves. There's another wolf over here. And I think there was another fox somewhere around here. So there's a couple foxes. Not a whole lot. Might just leave the foxes for now until they can kind of breed a little bit more. Oh, there's three foxes. Unless that one just popped in.
Alright, so I've started to test something out, out uh, for the the um, forestry area. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I'm hoping that it will. If we plant all the uh, trees like so, um, and leave a gap between, I'm hoping that it will still provide light for the other side. At the moment, they're only getting, they're only uh, taking up that much shade, so it should work for when they're saplings. I'm not sure how it's going to scale up when they're full trees. Uh, this just makes it easier for me to tell them when to plant and stuff, um, rather than select all of them. Um, kind of wish you could still select all the uh, things and enable it or disable it, but that's just the way that it is, at least at the moment. Um, let's see here. We got a tree here that we can cut down. Another apple tree. And some mushrooms are growing there. We could probably harvest those out. And that field still needs to be planted, and this needs to be harvested. Though I'm not sure how many people are actually working on gardening right now. It just looks like one person. Uh, North is harvesting some stuff by the looks of it. The um, barley's just about ready to harvest, well, some of it. So we'll be chopping that up. And as soon as he's finished with all that, we'll send him over to the to start planting some stuff. I think that would probably be best. There's oh no, there's uh, two people gardening right now. Probably working on the tree farm. So that row's done. I don't know where the other person is gardening. Let's see here. Going gardening. You're saying you're gardening, but oh, I think he's going to be growing barley. Okay, so that's good. That will help. Even though there's some barley right here that he could use, but <laughs> that's all right. Let's see here. Um. I've been trying to clean up all this stuff in here, but I'm not sure who's responsible for chopping down the trees. There's quite a few of them that need to be chopped down. I think they just gave up on me. They're like, yeah, I'm not going to bother with chopping anything because I'm not seeing anyone seeing cutting, which there should be at least one guy. I think Sylvester's building, so he's usually in charge of cutting things. sure what Sylvester was just doing but he ended up coming all the way back from 
like way over here. I think he might have been building or something on this side, but didn't cancel his event when he needed to go sleep. So he's probably going to be pretty tired today, which is kind of what you get for not going to bed. But I don't know. Um, does that? I wonder if it actually impacts his um, ability to do anything. Uh, let's see what his mood is. Condition in losing consciousness. Okay, yeah, so that apparently is a thing. All right. Um, desperately thirsty. Yeah, we should probably tell him to uh, sleep then. We'll just um, schedule this in for the time being. And then he can go sleep for the day because he's been up all night. Not sure why he would do that, but <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so most of our trees are finally planted. Um, we got one last row up here, which we won't have enough to sow the entire thing. They've been slowly putting the barley to get in, together. Once they get that finished, um, we're on the last day of spring, right? So we'll have one more season before we need to basically stop production. So I'm hoping that they'll finish planting the barley. And uh, then we'll start focusing on the other two things uh, for the crops and stuff like that. Uh, next episode, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get this built, uh, which is going to be like a little smelting uh, like building. Uh, there will be some storage for ores and stuff on the side. I'm probably not going to keep the kiln here, but um, for now I just wanted to put something there so it was you know even kind of so I'm just going to adjust this a little bit so we have 500 on stock and uh, yeah we'll be able to store some ore on one side we'll probably make another um, limestone thing um, for the uh, smelting ores and stuff like that. We'll put that on the other side and then we have storage on either side for raw ore. I think that will do really well. But if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.